Hi, well this is my 89 Ford Taurus and I just had a problem with this where the fuel pump would not turn on last night. It was about 55 degrees outside and a lot of people think the fuel pump goes wrong but a lot of times it's actually the IRCM, the Integrated Relay Control Module and I'm going to tell you about how to figure out whether it's actually the fuel pump or the relay for the fuel pump and how to bypass that relay and turn on the fuel pump maybe in case you need to drain gas out of the tank so anyways when you look in the engine compartment here all kinds of stuff all over the place and people normally can't figure out what is what the integrated relay control module IRCM is actually hidden underneath this engine label right here and it is this little black box right down there. That's the IRCM. And a lot of times these would have problems where people would drive their cars, they'd turn off the engine, come back, and it wouldn't start all of a sudden. And normally that's the fuel pump or the IRCM not turning on the fuel pump. Now to, to check this out, the fuel pump, the power wire for the pump should be a pink with a black stripe wire which is this one right here and if if you're in an emergency situ emergency situation or you needed to bypass this you're gonna need the tools which are right over here go ahead and let's take a look at the tools this is what we're gonna need for this two electrical screwdrivers flat blades a needle nose plier a jumper wire and an eight millimeter gear wrench or socket and so we'll start with removing this nut I'm trying to pull this out then we've got this out now you could just bypass in order to check you are just going to do a check on this we could hook up power directly to this and bypass all of the electrical circuitry if we put 12 volts of power right to the pump we could hear it turn on the best place to do that is at the alternator over here we'll just slide this boot off this is connected directly to the battery so this is a power source right here plug in there and then I'm going to touch this to the number five terminal and if you listen closely you'll hear the pump turn on do you hear that you probably can't hear it when a car goes by but when you're up close I can hear the fuel flowing through the fuel lines in here so if you want to, so if you do that and you hear the pump turn on, you know your fuel pump's not the problem. If you're maybe in an emergency situation and you think maybe your IRCM unit is faulty, what you could do is, is, is bypass the IRCM unit and you'd have to stick these screwdrivers in here. This is probably the most difficult step pry up both ends of this clip and push out. So now you remove the clip and then there's a rubber gasket in here. And the next step is to slide one of your screwdrivers in and pull this up. that with that out of the way you'll need some needle nose pliers that have a pretty pretty small tip in there and there are two red uh, locking pin devices so you're going to slide your needle nose in here and pull out this red plastic piece which locks clips in place now 
you take your screwdriver and you can pull one, you can push these plastic tabs down and out of the way. And at the same time you do that, you have to pull on the pink, pull on the wire from the back side and then slide your screwdriver down and push that clip out of the way. Oh, there we go. Now you can slide the wire out. And now, let's put this back in place. Again, this I'm simulating an emergency situation. Maybe you're out somewhere, you can't get to a repair station, and you think maybe your IRCM unit is the problem. IRCM unit also controls, well, it controls four functions, the fuel pump, the fan, and two other things which I can't remember. But if your fuel pump is the problem, now, I'll just demonstrate for you trying to start the car with that out. That was the last of the fuel pressure burning off. Now, the, after that, the fuel pump turned off. And it's not turning on because there's no fuel pressure. So, I'm gonna clip into positive 12 volts and hook this up. I'm gonna wait for this car to go by so hopefully you can hear the fuel pump turn on. Now, if you, if you listen very carefully, it's a high-pitched whine. I'm gonna start the engine. Fuel pump is running and pumping fuel right now. This fuel pressure is dropping, engine shuts off. And that's it. Go ahead.